Radio Year 9, we're moving on to our second skill, which is looking at cadastral maps. So we're moving on from political and topographic to page 10. And just to get it out of the way, cadastral maps sounds like something you've never heard of or you're never going to see. But if I just zoom in here, you should be able to see that it is a map that looks very similar to something that you would see on Google Maps. And the key difference is it's broken up into blocks of land. So this has to do with zoning. What is residential for housing? What's business? Um, what is environmental? So preserved for the environment and so on. And you need to be able to read these, especially when it comes to one day when you guys are going to be owning your own homes and knowing where you can and cannot build. We're going to be doing some practice questions on this side and I'm not going to do them in front of you now. But on the following page, we have the opportunity for an activity of creating your own cadastral map or own like land block map. There are two skills that you need for the assessment section. Um, one is to calculate area and I'm going to do a bit of a refresher on how to calculate area for a rectangle shape which is super super easy and also a shape that is not a rectangle how to break it up into two pieces and then add the two sections together and then the last bit is just I'm going to read a couple of examples of the questions um, just so you know straight away what they're kind of asking so let's jump into it here is a street so on this street there is two blocks of land and they're both residential they're owned one by John and the other is owned by Sam over here I've got my phone and you are allowed a calculator in this test so let's start with Sam question that you may get in the assessment is what is the area of Sam's block because that determines things like how much he pays in rates or how much he can sell his property for so to calculate the area of a rectangle it is just the base times the height or the length times the height the long side times the short side whatever you need whatever way you need to say it so the height or the length that I have here is 19 meters and then down here at the base I have 5 meters so all I need to do is times those two together to get my square meters 95 so the answer would be Sam's block is 95 meters squared and then we have his area. Now, moving over to John. Another question that you may get is whose block is larger or which tenant pays more rates? That's another tricky way of saying it. If the question is which tenant pays more rates, it's just another way of asking whose block is bigger because the person with more area needs to pay more rates. So if we come over to John, you can see that I've already started our halving here because John has a block that is not a perfect rectangle I have sliced it to make a triangle first we're going to work out the area of the triangle then with what is left over I'm going to work out the area of the rectangle plus those two together and then you have the complete area so to work out first the little triangle piece, I'm just going to write try up here so that I remember. To work out the triangle, we need to times half times base times height. To put in half, I'm going to go 0 0.5 times the base of the rectangle. Now, how do I know what the base of the rectangle is? It's, there's nothing there. Work with what I have. 
up here, this whole length of this side is 19 metres. And on the other side, where it doesn't extend the full way, it's 17. So if I take 17 away from 19, I'm going to have 2 metres left over, which means that that would have to be 2 metres. So my base is 2. So 0 0.5 times 2 times the height. The height of the triangle is 5 metres because it's exactly the same as what I have on this side. Times 5 is 5. So the triangle is 5 metres squared. Now let's quickly work out the rectangle. The rectangle base times height is five meters times 17. It's not the 19 because the 19 would be going all the way down to here. Make sure you take just the rectangle. Equals 85 meters square plus the two together and John's block is 90 meters square. So if we come back to our original question to wrap it all up, who pays more rates, Sam or John, or who has the larger block, Sam or John? The answer is Sam. This should be all you will need to succeed in our little assessment section.